rip it. <laughs> So I just want to say that, no, I don't like the verse. I think everybody hating it. I think it's very legit. It's like, what the fuck is the shit, Cole? <laughs> um, so as we stated, we already all covered that. I don't, we, we don't like when he gets in his sexy bag. And I was thinking about why. I think it's because what it reminded me of, you guys remember seven minute drill when he dissed Kendrick mm-hmm. or whatever? Yeah. It just sounded like he didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when he gets in his like se- sexual raunchy bag, it just doesn't <laughs> feel like. Authentic. Yeah, like I, w- I will credit him with this, man. When he goes, are oh, you about to play it? Mm-hmm. All right, cool, play it. <laughs> Nick Gang, Nick Gang. It's it's it's, it's, it's mm, mm, mm. grippy, grippy, <laughs> grippy. <laughs> She's thinking of him. She a hippie. She thinking of him. She a hippie. <laughs> I'll buy, buy some Vickers. Nah, it's, it's good bag. That's what it is. It's Yo, good, this bag. Is good bag. This is so butt. I keep playing it. Like, <laughs> that's hard. But the more me. you play it, the more you love it. Yes. <laughs> Who is he talking about right here? His no, wife. no, no, no. The next line, she's going to chew on the stick like it's Wrigley's. <laughs> like, Cole does not, Cole doesn't talk like this. But like, I will say this though, man. They I, don't even sell Wrigley's gum. The kids don't even know what Wrigley's mm-hmm. is. Oh, they Wrigley's. don't sell that shit no more. They don't even sell that shit in the store. Now nah, they sell it. Mm-hmm. Bro, I promise you, you have not seen a Wrigley pack of gum, a big red, none of that spear. You haven't seen any Damn, of that shit, bro. Yeah. When Word. the last time you seen that, bro? We outgrew Word. Wrigley's. It went from Damn. 25 cents to 30 cents, and now it's not even <laughs> like there anymore. I do want to shoot what you call a little bell, though. I ain't going to lie. Because... He when he does features with artists, he tries to enter their world. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad you're bringing this up. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. And again, I know a lot of people are very new to Cash Cobain. Cash Cobain's music is for women. All right, it is um sexy drill. It's 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 sexy drill, right? Mm-hmm. Originated by him. Mm-hmm. The girls love, love playing Charlie. it, making videos to it. Yeah, it's it's a very trendy thing. And I think J Cole was like, damn. Even though I may be turning forty soon, I gotta <laughs> <laughs> I gotta step into what the kids is on right now. Right, like think about it. Don Tolliver just did one with uh, Cash Cobain. Mm-hmm. Like people are seeing what the sauce is doing, and they're like, "All right, cool." Ice Spice just did one. Ice Spice mm-hmm. just did one. Like, and again, Ice Spice is talking about her uh, her oats and her pussy. You know, well, uh, something like that. I'm thinking because I've been eating my oats oh, or some shit oats, like that. Some yeah. shit, some shit. Yeah, her oats be working. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. she's her only oats. getting thicker, which Quite is crazy. Oh, she be eating that. Yeah. Shit. yeah. <laughs> That shit is yeah. all right. All vegan right. oats. Vegan. Yeah. All, right. all oats are vegan, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> vegan, all right. Dang, I just stepped on the joke. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like that you said it. I was believing that because I'm like, whatever oats she, right, but continue. Yeah. Oh, shout out to A Boogie too. We talking about the Bronx. We talking on about Casco Man. He did yeah, body he on did A body. Boogie's new project. Dope yeah. project. Mm-hmm. So I think the industry is realizing like, damn, whatever that sexy drill sound is, mm-hmm. the kids is love getting it. the kids started and the women are back dancing and shit. So mm-hmm. I think he turned off his smart brain for this one. <laughs> but it's like, okay, I, I appreciate an artist <laughs> yeah. that will, like if you collaborate with a Latino artist, like you do want to, you know, bring like that flavor and stuff yeah. when you're on a feature. But just because Cole adopted the Cash Cobain flow, yeah. that doesn't mean it, like he did it well. That's like, what I'm saying. It, just, it was so like it's this is so silly. Like what what is happening? But like I don't know. And and I feel like oh, um just one more point. I think like when he was doing this, he kind of he didn't say this, but I think he thought about how he's been criticized before. Where if it was like a sexy or smooth song, and J Cole's guest verse will be about like police brutality or something, <laughs> and then people would like laugh at him and criticize him. Yeah. So I think now he's hyper aware of that. He's like, no, I got to be sexy. Oh shit. <laughs> And then all of this is... Nah, keep playing it. Yeah. Keep playing it. <laughs> Not like Red Blaze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not strictly dickly. <laughs> that was the cringe one. <laughs> 150. <laughs> Even him saying like. Like, that's Cash Code Bane's Yes, thing. it is. Yeah. yeah. Like... Ew. <laughs> Are you going in for seconds? <laughs> you heard him? Like, I ain't never heard specifically on a drill song. He forced it. The next specifically, <laughs> specifically, specifically. <laughs> like, he, that's I what was, I, I knew. about this was Lively. Like, like, right. Nigga didn't even say the word right. Yo, Kyle, you went, Cole, you went to college, on, gang. Like, you know how to say specifically. <laughs> For real. I wish he would have gave a Cole fo- uh, flow on that song. Now, I think it's just fun. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's cool to. Yeah, for real. <clears throat> and, and, and maybe this is the only way that he could come back into the public because after that apology, like, what else can you do? Like, you got to do something. But that's so something far. like this. You yeah. have to do something so far left <laughs> where we even forget that you did that bullshit. 
Damn, you saying Kendrick sent him to go talk to the girls? Yeah, Kendrick sent a lot of niggas to do a lot of things. I just wish like Chow or Cash would have, you know, been professors for J. Cole on this task. Like, I wish he would have just played what Charlie Wilson did with Don Tyler. Like, a person that yeah. does what they do. You still Charlie oh, Wilson. Yeah, you yeah. still Charlie Wilson. So get me. So get me. So, like, Ooh, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he did what he did on a newer vibe. I think this Damn. is what's. I just, I'm sorry. I just, before, we don't have to play it, but the best lines were. I want to make it feel like I'm touching your kidneys. And then, bitch, I'm going to send all your kisses Disney. I'm going to pay a little extra. Make sure they meet Mickey. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's hear J. Cole say it. That's nasty. That's, yeah. Pay a little extra. Make sure they meet Mickey. <laughs> mm. like, you know, who no. you talk? You got your own kids. You got your own family. You yeah. stopped dissing niggas because you loved your family. Yeah. So now you're talking about taking another person's family to Disney? Like, Would come on, you gotta make your mind up. Would yeah. they be proud of this? Yeah. His kids? If, they, if his kids hear this verse one day, would they be proud? They would not. Word. They but like Disney. I think you know what it is <laughs> because, like you said, yeah. and you made a great point yeah. with J. Cole on Red Leather. Mm. Well, he said, yo, I want to be a little bit, I wish I was more like Future so I yeah. could have all these hoes. Whatever he said, right? We summarize it. Right. Like if, he, if, 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 if he's going through an identity crisis in his own person, it's reflecting through his music. I know this is supposed to be fun, lighthearted and all this stuff. Nah. But I think when people do speak, and, and, and unlike Drake, I do believe he writes all of his lyrics. Oh, he for surely wrote that. Unlike Drake. Strictly Dickly. <laughs> he wrote that shit. <laughs> I can't believe it like Rickley's. No, he said, he said, she thinking the hips. She a hippie. He wrote that shit. He wrote that shit. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, wait. Specifically. <laughs> specifically. That's honestly. That's cold. That's cold. Specifically that's cold. is he wrote, he wrote how that. I know this is Cole's pen. You he get what I'm saying? That shit. So for that to be his pen is like, all right, bro. You got to figure out who yeah. and what it is that you want to be because mm. I, nobody really wants to laugh at Cole. It hurts to make fun of Cole. It that's hurts to say disparaging yeah. things yeah. about Cole because he's been the one that he's almost like, he's like 50 Cent. And, and, and listen to me Consistent. when I say this. 50 Cent is like, I mean, maybe physically, but literally, he like he's bulletproof. Yeah. You, you can't do anything to harm his image, to harm the person. Like he is, he has the brand of being almost Teflon. Right. J. Cole has always been that out of the quote unquote big three until he decided to bow out of this race. So now it's like, all right, you open the gates for people to judge you, for people to look at you a little bit different. And now you're talking about she's strictly dickly and I wish I had hoes like Future and I want to fuck Ruby Rose and like where what is happening where are you, are you gonna going suck on the this? stick like Wrigley <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking about is I hope he's not subconsciously manifesting the fall off that's what I right? was I, I didn't know how to bring it up because people mm. would be like oh my god you're caping for him but like mm. people are saying like not to be funny but like is this like like performance art like is he like <laughs> is he doing his fall off like is he purposely being this bad right to roll out the fall off? Or is that completely just ridiculous? For you to say that, that means a lot. No, no, I don't know if I believe. I, I want to say, like, I, I said I don't like the verse. Like, I'm not caving for him. But it's like, people are kind of saying, like, wait, mm. what if this is, like, all an act? But, bro, it has to be. Because there's no way the fall off, after all of the beef amongst Drake, Kendrick, uh, how people are receiving this feature, there is no way the fall, out, the fall off is a bad album. There's mm. no way he doesn't tap into what um matters that we haven't heard before or just high level rap there's mm -hmm. no way he doesn't. because Mike Delete no later way. the mixtape he just dropped a few weeks ago that was really good yeah i no, thought it was, it was i thought it was, it was. good that was a good project yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. good project so yeah. he could still do it so why is he doing all these things like i, I don't know I, or maybe and maybe the fall off right <clears throat> cole has always given us the hint that he has an expiration date as far as his career, like being active. Yeah, he's right? literally saying it. He's yeah. literally saying like, yo, one day I'm going to stop. And when I stop, maybe he'll do the Andre 3000 where he gives verses, but I'm not going to be an active participant as a artist and as a rapper as mm -hmm. I currently am. So maybe he's trying to like check off everything that he has to do. Like I was in therapy the other day. Okay. And mentally, I told my therapist, I said, I have a checklist. Mm -hmm. There's a checklist of things that I want to do, that I need to do before I could actually live my own life, mm -hmm. right? And that, that, that's a little bit different than what he's doing. But I think from a career standpoint, I think he's literally trying to check everything off that he 
believes the greatest rapper or the best rapper should do, maybe some of the things that he wants to do um, internally. And it's like, once I check every single box off, I can give y'all this last body of work and I will be happy when I look back on my career and say, yo, this is it. You know, Mm -hmm. so maybe Mm -hmm. this is one of those things where it's like, all right, I'm going to check off this sound. I did a, a sexy drill song, right? Excuse me. I did a song with Benny the Butcher. I've done songs with Drake. Um, I've done songs with everybody. Oh, Royce he did the a K- five nine. He you know, did a K-pop song. He's, he's done a K-pop. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. at this point, he's almost <laughs> in that era of let me check everything off. So when I can hang it up, or when I do say I'm done being an active mm-hmm. uh, competitor in this lane in this sport, I can say I did it all. 